it is people oriented, but it can't succeed if those benefits are not gained sustainably. So the sustainable part is the benefits that the ocean, that the formal ocean system and marine life gets. So we're going to go fishing. We're either going to do it poorly or well. If we do it well, it benefits both uh, us and them. So there's that. And then uh, the data part is really important. If you're going to have some kind of an index, and if you want to repeat it year after year, and if, if you want to Im improve it, you better have the data layers um, ready. And people, among all the other things they measure, measure those things too. So that's very important. And uh, for it's especially important for countries because for countries to develop this thing, they ought to do it right if they're going to use it as a guide. And I think it's a pretty good guide because even though there are departments of this and that and the other thing, the overall government needs to um, have success in all of these areas for the people to thrive. And I think that that... Um, so, so data is really important and for um, all of us to uh, define what are the things that we need to measure is good. So that, that's important. And then the last thing is to make it um, as, uh, well, transparent for those who need to look at it or fix it or whatever, for people to make it obvious. I mean, you know what the Dow Jones value is today or the, you know, the NASDAQ or something like that, or the um, El Nino or the Southern Oscillation or any of those things, each of them is a composite index with all kinds of little gears and ratchets working in there. And then nobody looks at those anymore. I, I have. Um, but everybody says, oh, okay, the Dow's up today. You know, the oscillations in this state. Are, um, so to make it that obvious, so people would say, okay, here's what the index is this year. I sort of know how it works. If I want to know more, I can. I know where to look. And um, let's, let's keep measuring and not make it the only show in town because there are a lot of great indices, and they tell you things. And so... It's sort of, Buckminster Fuller said it best, you know, he, back in uh, 19, I think it was 59, might have been early 60s, when he said the only problem uh, with the spaceship Earth is that it came without an operating manual. Well, this is our contribution toward possibly one aspect of an operating manual. managers mm -hmm. to help them plan mm -hmm. and provide them with sort of alternative scenarios that if they made one decision, this might be a trend they might yeah. see in the future. Have you been able to engage yeah. um, regional managers within the United States or international? Oh, well, within the United States, as soon as the um, West Coast study is published, um, which God willing will be, in the next month or so, uh, then there's a whole uh, caravan of events planned with the different um, regional managing groups and, and legislators and governors and so forth and so on to talk about that study and about the uh, process and how they could use it in, um, in decision making. Again, don't want to overpromise or, or um, you know, misspeak about this. It's definitely not the only tool they should use, it, but it is a tool that has some utility, and it does allow for those kinds of scenario testings at, and other things too. So yeah, and I'll tell you one thing: um, there are great uh, conflicts between <clears throat> science and communication here. Uh, science 
wants to make everything as 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 foolproof and and as detailed and as every every thing and every possible interpretation covered so it's long prose uh communications wants that one word that makes everybody pay attention uh and what's more communications wants it now and they want it you know to go to the world and science has to go through all these steps publication takes a long long time months sometimes years and the meanwhile the communications people are oh they've got the appointments they're planning the whole parade and so um that produces lots of train wrecks and um trying to express something that's this i don't know complex whatever you want to call it in the media is kind of hard and it can cause lots of bad feelings and backlashes anyway the publication thing you're not supposed to um talk about or release data until a paper is published and somebody like you know science nature you do that they will yank the paper it's that simple uh this one's being the california study the west coast study is being considered uh, uh, reviewed uh, plus one and they're a little more forgiving so you know you've got some of those results um but normally for for the science paper for instance i mean the nature paper we weren't allowed to give any results but our field teams the conservation internationals field teams in uh, columbia and other places were meeting with those managers and the managers you know we could tell them generally and so forth well anyway columbia got a score that kind of made them upset it was a lower score than they anticipated and and they said well why didn't anybody tell us because now we've got the press calling us and and um we, it was just a bad show you should have told us we said, we, we couldn't tell you because the paper wouldn't have been published so anyway um our vice president flew down and with the team down there met with the president of columbia and the other ministers and they talked about it for a while and he saw what the index was and he said well he said this is really important and i'm going to make a blue agenda part of our development agenda from now on so it worked out pretty nicely after a rather disastrous start and uh, as i say a lot of this is about um communication another thing by the way you'll shut me up soon i hope um is this that uh the global study has to keep going for what we might call planetary and posterity purposes uh the individual regional assessments have to be done for countries that use them for management but they're going to have different scores so that's going to be an interesting communication problem for uh, brazil for example to have a score of uh, 60 in its regional study and whatever it was 62 i think maybe in the global study which do they publicize which do they talk about and eventually i hope that they stop that the countries stop you know looking at the other guy and saying oh why we got to do better than they do or oh dear you know we look look how badly they and just focus on their own individual health and i think that's probably a good lesson for everybody so one last question yeah it seems like uh ocean awareness and science education in these countries could play a huge part especially in shaping potential for change in these values over time um is that considered at all in the model just how it's about the ocean power and how much people care in these individual countries is that play into the population of the numbers that's a really interesting question jed um the uh original 
East Coast route did have a number of those categories, uh, awareness of biodiversity, awareness of this, so forth. And um, the problem was we, we didn't see how we could get measures of those globally. There are measures in, um, in the U.S. And in fact, if you look at the, conserva the uh, Convention on Biological Diversity, um, it has how many? 21 Aichi goals, and several of them are exactly that, um, looking at indicators of awareness of biodiversity, understanding of bio biological diversity, and so forth. It's pretty interesting, and those are all uh, uh, questionnaire-based for the most part, but others too. So we have a look, at, and you can go to, uh, you know, Aichi, um, if you go to Aichi Passport, you'll get there through the Biological Biodiversity Indicators Partnership. So that is, that is interesting. We, we couldn't do it, we felt, but they are doing it, at least for biodiversity. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.